What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, if you're a divine masculine, you're a divine feminine. If you're chosen, if you're dealing with the karmic, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel. Because you see that little thing right there? That's the karmic team. Okay? And when you subscribe to my channel, you get all access to what the fuck these karmic ass clowns is doing. Now, you may be dealing with the karmic that is delusional, needy, manipulative, disconnected from reality. You may be dealing with someone that's jealous, that holds grudges, that's hateful, angry, or resentful. Hear those motherfuckers. Um, the overly competitive, prone to violence ass motherfuckers. Those are the energies that you throw in that tip. So, what I need for you to do, collect, is to purchase a front row seat ticket. Okay? And the way you purchase that ticket is by hitting the thumbs up button. That's energetically donating your time, your energy, and your mind to me for at least whatever time the video goes. Now, I would like for you to also purchase you a subscribe ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And you damn sure need to hit the notification bell for when the karmic circus is in your town. You will be the first to be notified so you can get your front row ticket for me to tell you what these motherfucking clowns is doing. And at my channel, you have all the power in the world to throw they ass in that tent. Okay. And when you throw they ass in that tent, you make sure you drop a comment and say you threw them in the tent. And in the next video, you will get a shout out. Okay. So thank you for visiting the Karmic Circus. Now let's get to this message. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to hashtag Karmic Circus and throw that ass in the tent. Hashtag. Okay. You can see all the videos there. You'll see how many asses been thrown in the tent when you go over there. Hashtag Karmic Circus. Hashtag throw their ass in the tent. What's up, Divine Feminine? Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the energy coming towards the Divine Feminine? What is the energy coming towards a judge? Something with your baby mama or your baby daddy. Could be some baby mama, baby daddy drama going on. Here's the energy of a new car, Divine Feminine. Somebody loves your goofy laugh. If you have a goofy laugh, somebody loves it. Somebody, um, everybody may not know about this goofy laugh, but this one person has heard you. Here's the letter Q. Here it is saying to stand your ground in a situation. Your name could start with the letter Q. Could be married to somebody they name could start with the letter Q. You or this person is concerned because you're standing your ground. Stay in that princess energy, okay? The heart of your energy is your princess and you're in the energy, okay? Your name could start with a Q. Queen. You could have suffered from child abuse of someone. You could be child abusing someone. You could have suffered from it. Okay. So there's the, the energy of a princess, right? Whose name starts with the letter Q. This princess is having to stand her ground when it comes to a marriage. Okay. Maybe you like arts and craft and you're you're doing some sort of arts and craft and you're making money from it. Some of you have been um, 
abused as a child. You were a princess energy with money. Okay, you're married. You could have been abused as a child. You may like arts and crafts. But right now, either you're concerned about your princess energy or you're concerned about this child abuse. Someone um, could get drunk and start abusing your child. Okay, tell me about this child abuse, Holy Spirit. Abuse. And the cups, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Spirit. I'm concerned about this. Somebody is concerned about child abuse. I'm concerned now. Show me this child abuse. What's going on with this child abuse? And what's going on with the child abuse? Somebody, uh, somebody's child, somebody's parent. Child went to go get some shoes. They sent them to go get some shoes. They let this child go get some shoes or they let this child go shopping or something. This child got abused because they sport, they spent a little bit more money than they were supposed to. A parent could have gave their, their child their credit card or something. This person was drunk. They could have been drunk. They could drink Old English, but they they went overboard. Let me see. Okay, tell me more about this child abuse, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about the child abuse. More about the child abuse. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, some of you, this could be your partner that's abusive to your child. Um, this person is quick to get anger. They're a bad man. Okay, but they're very attractive. This is somebody you marry. And um, this child abuse, because this child overspent some money, this person got very upset. Quick, quickly mad. But this child, this parent is not mad at this child. What is this bad man? He's an Aquarius. Bad news. Imprisonment. 
This is a death. Nine of Swords. Losing sleep. So this person, they could have, they could have, uh, they could actually be abusive, or they could abuse this, abuse this child in the time of um, sorrow or something. They could have lost a parent or a spouse. And um, I, oh, I hope, I hope this is not going on. That this child's parent passed away, and the father or stepfather is being abusive. I gotta get more. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me the energy of this child abuse that's going on from this Aquarius energy. Show me this child abuse. Or this person could be abusing you by treating you like a child in this marriage. You could be the wife and you could have got some shoes and you, you spent more than what they gave you on a card or something. Has something to do with money and in marriage. And Spirit is saying this is the time for you to, to stand your ground. This person is very stubborn because it, it's like they, the cards don't want to split. They don't want to come together. It's like they don't want to agree with you. They want everything to go their way. Damn this motherfucker stubborn. Make it feel like my cars then got wet or something. And they not. Okay, Holy Spirit, give me give me the unwise decisions. Gossip. False mask. So you could have married this person, which was an unwise decision. Or somebody married someone. Somebody is spying. Yeah, this is a narcissist. The main female out here. This, narciss this narcissist was go gossiping a lot. Lying. Having a false persona. Still dealing with their ex. But you're not going through that chaos and conflict no more, Divine Feminine. This person, um, after the chaos and conflict, they started, they could be trying to message you and you're not, you're not, um, you're not trying to hear from them. Because you felt, you found out that they were, they was false. They pretended to be somebody who they wasn't. You're not letting them put you in a mental entrapment, keeping you confined no more. You're dealing with someone who is, uh, you can't tell them shit, okay? Every time you didn't, you suggest going somewhere, they haven't been there and done that. This person, um, you could have felt like your prayers was being heard when you met this person, but all they did was came into your life to bring a lot of chaos and conflict. So you have a choice or a decision you have to make. Yeah, this person was causing blockages in your life. He's a narcissist. Mm -hmm. He was trying to keep you confined or keep you trapped. A motherfucker, his ass needs to go in the tent, Divine Feminine. You're trying to end it with him, but he don't want you to end it. That's a bridge that he don't want you to cross. He don't want you to move. But you didn't cry too many tears over this person. He put you in competition. Um, he caused a lot of setbacks in your life, delays, had you crying. You saying no more delays, no more setbacks, all this shit is stopped. And if you was the privileged lady, this is your husband. You're not giving to him, nor financially, monetarily, sexually, or none of that shit. Because he's a narcissist. You're not talking to him. Mm-hmm. You ended it. Here's a death. Now, for some of you divine feminine, somebody out here uh, could have passed away and, and they're, 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 they're just... Narcissist is abusive to the child. Or this could be you, but it says child abuse out here. He could have been abusing you and treating you like a child. Mm-hmm. And you had to move away. You said you're not you're not going back and forth with this person no more. You're showing self-love to yourself. Um, this person treated you colder than a, a penguin's beak. 
But you got you got your own stability. This person was trying to be sneaky and you caught their ass. Okay? You may have family with this person or you may not. Or you may be in close with this person's family because they was your main man. But you have to move on for this shit. You, it's like you're waiting for some... Um, you need to file some divorce papers and you're leaving the situation. Now this person, they sitting at home but they, they got too much pride. Plus they sick. They could be mentally sick and not telling you that this shit is fucking them up. Mm-hmm. If you have a child with them, you're not letting them see this child no more. You're holding it. Some of you may be pregnant and saying, well, I'm pregnant by him, but I'm not letting them see this child. And you just got some sort of big money that came in your hand. And there's somebody false because they know that money is coming. This person is trying to hang around you, but they didn't show no high honor to you. They didn't put you in high honor. They didn't treat you like you was a fortune, so why would you treat them? They're a narcissist, okay? You need to use your intuition when it comes to this person, Divine Feminine. This person is just trying to keep from going in poverty and they just gonna waste your time. But they planning on stealing from you or they even stole from you because they know you got a good job. You're official at your job. It's a career that you have. You're moving forward, you're flying over things and they don't want you to cut them off, mm-hmm. But they didn't show no concern when they was in the relationship with you. All they tried to do was use you. Now, since you didn't cut them off and you ain't in love with them no more, they have a negative thoughts. And they also, the negative thoughts is going back to their self because they tried to do some sort of spell work when it came to you. Okay, they took a bad risk or a gamble, but the universe got your back. All right? This person is losing money. They could be paying somebody to, you know, do some sort of manipulation or spell work towards you. All because you divorcing their ass. Mm -hmm. And this could be some of you divine feminine. This could be somebody, a snake that's coming back just to throw you off your pathway to keep you from going where you want to go. But I believe you found out about this shit. You realize this person is not a gift and they was just trying to put you in a mental institution. Mm -hmm. But they're a narcissist and you're moving away. Mm -hmm. You're moving. You ended this relationship and you got somebody close by, a close friend, somebody that's loyal, that's waiting for you to sign these divorce papers, child. Mm-hmm. They see that you're not standing out, you're not shining. This person was treating you like a child or you may have a child with somebody else and they're waiting for you and this person to break up. Now this other person is in, in despair, the one you're breaking up from. You could have a child with them or you could have a child with this person who's loyal, who's waiting for you. This person is going to bring you good luck, and they've been asking you to marry them, but you haven't married them. They proposed to you secretly. You turned them down. Somebody is going through karma right now. Maybe you're going through the karma, Divine Feminine, because you turned them down the wrong person. You said this person was childish. If you didn't get yourself to them, this could be an ex of yours. It's a karmic energy out here. He's mad. This could be this narcissist, but you're maturing the whole situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. You could have been with this person for five years. Their name could start with the letter F, or your name could start with the letter F. Um, your name could start with the letter Q. Some of you, the F could be for fuck boy energy or fuck girl energy. Remember, the roles can be reversed. Take it how it resonates, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Attorney, yeah, you divorcing this person. Mm -hmm, the marriage is over. Marriage over. You're not having sex with them and they mad. They ain't hanging out with their friends no more. They mad. Cause they got some secrets. They secretly not telling nobody. They trying to text you or trying to write you, and you ain't you giving their ass karma. You've reached the judgment. Mm -hmm. Yep. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Somebody may from Louis, be from Louisiana. Yeah, here's the money out here. You can't see it, but it's money. Mm -hmm. You're doing money chance. Okay. You're doing come to me chance. If you're calling in your money. It's over. It's ended. Here's the letter D. Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Divine Feminine. Yep. 
So that's you, Divine Feminine. You have been here. You could have been dealing with this person for five years. See the idea? Divine Feminine. Okay, you're ending this marriage with this person. You could be from Louisiana. They could be from Louisiana. You could have bought this property in Louisiana. What a property? Oh, that's the that's the the other thing. This could tie into that. You may want to check that video out about an air R and B. If you're going through something or you purchase, you turn your home to an air a air R and B divine feminine. Maybe you want to check that reading out, okay? Because somebody made a bad mistake purchasing, turning their home to an air R and B. Here's the judge and attorney out here. Yeah, you're divorcing this person. You could have been married for them to them for five years and you divorced them. Divine feminine. And you about to receive some money from this divorce. They hear music when they make love to you. They desire you frequently. They daydreaming about you. But it's too late. It's over. Mm -hmm. You waiting for your mail. It's going to pay off. Spirit is saying just be patient. Okay. Tell me more spirit. This person, you know, you defeated them. You defeated this enemy, okay? And you're top shelf royalty. You're a queen, okay? And now they're missing your energy. They're daydreaming about you. All at the same time, they're getting divorce papers and shit. Now they're thinking about it. When they had you, they didn't treat you right. Now you're gone. They're looking stupid, okay? So since you done left them, now they want to kill your character. Now, they, now they're in the mood to talk about you bad. Come on, Holy Spirit. Pisces energy. Yeah, you're divorcing this person was a karmic. Divorcing a karmic. You're unstuck. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you're unstuck. Some of you, you could be dealing with the Pisces energy or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay? Or you could be a Pisces or Aquarius, divine feminine. Yeah, you're walking away. Mm -hmm. You're walking away. But this person was hang angry, hangry. They hangry. Hungry and angry. Okay? And they're hateful. Hungry, angry, and regretful. Hungry, angry, hangry, regrangry. They all that. They resentful, they angry, they hateful, and they hungry. Because they ain't getting all that good food that you cook for them, Divine Feminine, are they? Hell no, they ain't. Speaking of good food, Divine Feminine, I've, I've made me a pot of uh, pinto beans and shit. I've been looking up all sorts of little bean recipes. I'm going to be making me some burritos, some, some tostadas, and bean tacos and uh, chili, um, pinto greens, cornbread. I got some cabbage up in there. I done, I, I done prepared my meal, so all I got to do is just make the little side meals off of the main meal, okay? This is your ex-spouse that you walked away from. They even tried to do some sort of insurance scam, okay? <clears throat> Someone sent some, something off to the post office they cost them twenty twenty one dollars and ninety nine cent and there's also you were stressful in this marriage divine feminine because you realized that you married a fucking carmy mm -hmm. now this person is daydreaming because you didn't you, you could be then got away from them for five days now um five weeks five months five hours five minutes Yeah, but basically you walked away from this person. And they need you in their life, so they looking stupid and they mad. Mad. Okay. So Spirit, what is the advice for divine feminine? What's the advice? This person may drink. Mad Dog 2020. It's a lot of betrayal and deception going on.
starting over. You're starting your life over. This is your ex now, and that's how you're looking at them as an ex. You done went through all of the shit of getting attorneys and judges and all of that shit. It ain't no turning back. It ain't. No turning back. Right. Insurance scams, betrayal, and deception from your ex spouse. There's no turning back. You're divorcing this karmic. Throw his ass in the tent. Okay. What else, spirit? It's something they're not telling you. What is it, Holy Spirit, that they're not telling divine family? Seven. Something about the number seven. Seventy-five. The letter J. Jane. Jesse. Taurus the bull out here. Your, your community thinks that you're interested. Hopeful. You want to go out? Okay. Here's the name Marvin. Somebody's name may be Mary. Deep personal strength, Mary. Marvin. Yeah, it, it, it took you to to have deep personal strength to deal with this energy, Divine Feminine. This person was needy and delusional, disconnected from reality, jealous and holding grudges. Ego, the letter K. Jackie. Mac. Pam. Debbie. February 6th. July 9th. January 5th. The month of March. The month of June. June 5th. March 5th. Divine Feminine. You in the building, Divine Masculine, you up in here too. But a marriage has truly ended and there's a judge and there's attorney. Now that this divorce is going on, this person realized that they put you in a stressful marriage, okay? They could have had you in all sorts of insurance scams, but it's over and you ended it with them. And now you're showing your deep personal strength, okay? You showed your deep personal strength by getting an attorney. And this attorney is about to get you some money. So Divine Feminine, if this reading resonated with you, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and throw their ass in a tent if this resonated with you. If it don't resonate, then still check out some of my other videos on this channel. All right, peace.